everybody welcome back to my channel I am so glad you're here and if you're new I am super excited you found us welcome so today we are doing a full body stretch routine and this will get your blood flowing it will help with relaxation digestion all those important things that we seem to really need now this one is great if you sit a lot when you're ready to go to bed. Like I said, it kicks in that relaxation factor. It's good when you get up in the morning to get that blood flowing. So it's just a great set of full body exercises. We will start from our feet to our head. And these exercises are static, which means we'll hold a stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. And these trigger the parasympathetic nervous system, which if you watched my anxiety exercise video, I talked about it. And the parasympathetic nervous system helps calm the body down and it aids in digestion. So these do the same thing, but it's full body. So let's get started. And first we're gonna start with our right foot and we're going to point our toe down and you're going to Feel the stretch in the bottom of your foot. So point it down. And you should feel it in the bottom of your foot and we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna point our heel on the grip mat like that and our toes up. And we're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. Okay, now we're going to do the right foot, or if you started with the right, do the left. Now this one I can't hold for 30 seconds, but you go ahead. This is my CRPS ankle really badly. Okay, now heel and foot up. Okay, now shake it out if you need to. Next, we're gonna stretch our calf muscles. If you need to, you can have a chair, you can use the wall, but what you're gonna do is put your leg out in front of you. Oh, let me back up. You're gonna put your leg out and kind of bend in, and you're gonna feel that stretch on the back of your calf. So, I have my heel down, my knees kind of straight. Don't bend your knee backwards, and if you have knee troubles, don't do this, okay? And then hold on to the wall if you need to. And we'll hold him for 30 seconds. Okay, shake it out. Now you're gonna do the uh, right leg or the left leg. I'm gonna do them sideways so you can see the angle. You can also do these in a chair by sitting in the chair, sitting feet, let me turn sideways so you can see, sitting on the chair, sitting with your feet flat on the floor and then extending your foot out and with your heel like that. So you can do those same calf stretches in a chair. Now we're going to do thigh stretches. So this part, you can hold on. You just grab your foot, your ankle. If you need to, grab your pants, you know, like that or like that. And you should feel the stretch in your quads, the top of your thighs. Be careful though, because if your hamstrings are tight, you might cramp up, so. If you can't hold it 30, that's fine. Hold it as long as you can. Okay, shake it out. Now do the other one. And again, if you need to brace with the wall, and even if you're great in shape, you still need to brace sometimes. Okay, shake it out. Now we're going to go down to the floor and we're going to do our hamstrings. So we're still working our way up from our feet. 
Now we're heading down, up, sorry, heading up to our hamstrings. Your hamstring, if you don't know, is the back of your thigh. Just reach. Please do not bounce. Do not bounce. That's a no-no. Just reach. Extend your right leg. Bend your left. Extend your arms toward your ankle and grab it if you can. If not, grab your uh, calf. If not, grab your knee. But the stretch should be in the back of your quad, in the back of your thigh. And that's your hamstring. Okay, now bounce it out. And we're going to do the other leg. Okay, now bounce your legs out. Now we're going to do the glutes, the hips. I'm going to do it sideways so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to lay on your back, legs bent. You're going to bring so you've got your hands on your knee. You bring your other leg across or, okay. So to stretch your glute to like on your back, put your hands, uh, put your feet on the floor. Okay, put your hands on your knee and bring the other one across like that. Okay, so it's knees, grab your leg, the top of your uh, leg or your ankle and then bring this one. So to do a glute stretch, you're gonna cross your left over your right at the knee. Then you're gonna bring it up and you're gonna stick your hands through the hole and grab them and you should feel a pull in your left glute, your left cheek. Okay, put them down, kind of shake it out, wiggle it. Okay, now you're going to bring your right leg up on your left thigh and bring them up and put your arms through the hole, grab your leg, and you're gonna fill this in your right hip right here. Okay, put them down, shake them out. Now we're gonna going to stretch our back two ways. The first way, if you do not have back problems, do it this way. Put your I'll do it this way first. Put your right knee foot over, your left leg is straight, put your right leg over, put the hands on your right side and just turn. Don't twist, you know, put pressure on it, just turn and brace yourself with your hands. And this is stretching out your back. Okay. Shake it out, now we're gonna go the other way. Okay, now if you have back problems, what you can do is lay flat and bring your legs up and then just lay them over, keeping your shoulders and the only part of your body that's moving, your shoulders and your back are staying, is your hips. And put your arms out to the side like that. Okay, bring them back center and just let them fall naturally to the other side and hold. And if you can't fall all the way to the side, then just, you know, Brace them on the floor wherever it's comfortable or just stretch your back out like this. If turning your back at all hurts it, just do it straight like that. Okay, so let's do this side. Okay, 
come back. Now we're going to stretch out our chest. You can do this seated in a chair. You can do this seated on the floor or standing. But put your arms up. Let me do this. Okay, so from the side, from the front, we're going to go like that. But watch from the back. Okay, so it's like that. And we're going to pull our arms back. And you should feel your chest open up like you're Superman. Okay? But hold them up here. So you're like doing the Superman. And hold it for 30 seconds. Okay, shake it out. And the last exercises are our neck exercises. And we know these well. So it's back. Center and left. And that's it. You have stretched from your toes to your head. So I hope you enjoyed it. Coming up, let's see, Friday I have using a treadmill for beginners part one. How to use a treadmill for beginners part one. Also, coming up Monday, we start a great low-impact fat-burning workout. So, be sure and hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell. I'm glad you are here today. If you were new, again, I'm so glad you found us. Thanks, guys. See you soon.